Hello Mrs. Froming. Hello Year 3. Today's my favourite arty video because it's Doggy Doodle Day and we are going to draw dogs. This is Stony. He's my fur baby and I hope that you can all draw your fur babies at home as well. It can be a cat too or any kind of pet or friend's pet or a beautiful picture of a dog that, or cat that you find uh, online or your photo album or friend's pet but uh, let's have a go at drawing our beloved animals. So uh, Mrs. Froeming has sent through some footage and uh, some photographs of her beloved fur family and you're going to meet in the segment after this you're going to meet Snotty Dotty that's her favorite dog and another little doggy as well. As part of this video I also wanted to show you my painting palette and a pet portrait that I made of a doggy called Charlie. And often when people commission a portrait, there's a special reason for it. And this one was because Charlie came all the way from Santiago, Chile, and he was a rescue dog. He was found uh, as a puppy on the streets of Santiago, and this lovely Seven Oaks family decided to adopt him and bring him back to live with their family in Seven Oaks. So this is the palette that I used to paint Charlie. And you can see a palette is a very strange shape. You put your thumb through there and your fingers around there and you hold it against your body resting on your arm and then you've got your hand free on this side to mix the paints. This paint is already dried but you can mix your paints like that and then paint directly onto your oil painting. And usually when you paint in oils you stand up and paint because it's easy to step back if you want to look at your painting from, from far away. I just thought I'd show you a painting palette. So this is our doggy doodle and I want you to all start with just writing the word dog. D-O-G. And then take your pencil crayon or your chalk, your charcoal or your pencil and try and follow these simple steps. Now those funny noises that you can hear in the background, that's Stoney's snoring. Here we've got our DOG. We draw a line down onto the G. Draw another. And these are going to be the eyes. So there's a doggy doodle and uh, have fun trying to do that as well. Just have a go, see how it works out. You can also change it. You can um, add maybe some teeth or you could do ears that go up like that. So they're all different ways that you can do it. And don't feel too precious about making mistakes. Remember, most of our doodles are just practicing and for fun.
here is a little clip of my funny stony dog. He doesn't appreciate my art and he really didn't like this picture of Georgina the bulldog. This is the, the doggy that you saw in the video before, but now she's more grown up. And I put the painting on the floor so Stoney could see it and you can see he really didn't like it. But he was trying to play ball with uh, Georgina and you can see the two tennis balls there and he's just begging her. He's saying, please, please play with me. And then right at the end of the video, you can see he manages to, to get the ball away from the painting.